This video demonstrates the proper procedures for determining the density of concrete and presents formulas for calculating yield, cement content, and gravimetric air content. The capacity of the measure used for the density test is based on the nominal maximum size of the course aggregate. Refer to Table 1 in the Standard for Guidance on selecting an appropriate sized measure for this test. Concrete in the measure is consolidated either by rotting or vibration, depending on the measured slump. Rod concretes with a slump greater than 3 inches. Vibrate concretes with a slump less than 1 inch. Rod or vibrate concretes with a slump of 1 to 3 inches. When consolidation is by rotting, the measure is filled in three layers of approximately equal volume. The number of times a layer is rotted will depend on the capacity of the measure. When consolidation is by vibration, fill the measure in two layers. The equipment needed for this test includes a measure, scoop, tamping rod, mallet, strike-off plate, and balance. Select an appropriate sized measure based on the nominal maximum size of the course aggregate. The scoop shall be sized to obtain representative material from the receptacle and not spill as concrete is placed in the measure. The tamping rod shall be a round, straight steel rod with a 5 8 inch diameter. It shall be approximately 24 inches in length with the tamping end rounded to a hemispherical tip. The mallet is used to close voids left by the tamping rod and to release any large air bubbles trapped in the concrete. The strike-off plate can either be one quarter inch thick metal or one half inch thick glass or acrylic. The length and width of the plate must be at least two inches greater than the diameter of the measure. The balance or scale shall be accurate to one-tenth of a pound or to within three-tenths of a percent of the test load, whichever is greater. This standard permits the use of a mechanical vibrator to consolidate concretes having a slump of three inches or less. Begin by properly obtaining a representative sample of fresh concrete. Then, determine the mass of the empty measure and record this value. Using the scoop, place the first layer of concrete into the measure. Move the scoop around the measure to distribute the concrete. Consolidate the concrete by rotting the layer through its depth 25 times, no more and no less. Now, tap the exterior of the measure 10 to 15 times with the mallet. Add the second layer of concrete to the measure. Rod the layer 25 times. The rod should penetrate through the second layer and into the first layer about one inch. Tap the exterior of the measure 10 to 15 times with the mallet.
Add the third layer of concrete to the measure. Rod the layer 25 times. The rod should penetrate through the third layer and into the second layer about one inch. Tap the exterior of the measure 10 to 15 times with the mallet. When a vibrator is used to consolidate the concrete, insert the vibrator three times per layer. Evenly distribute the points of insertion and do not allow the vibrator to touch the measure. Place all concrete for a layer into the measure before consolidating the layer. The vibrator should penetrate approximately one inch into the underlying layer. When removing the vibrator, ensure no air pockets remain. If necessary, add or remove representative material to correct a deficiency or excess. Approximately 1 8 inch of material above the rim of the measure is considered optimal. To strike off the excess concrete, position the strike off plate so that it covers approximately two thirds of the concrete surface. While maintaining downward pressure, withdraw the plate using a sawing motion. Be sure to keep the plate level at all times. Return the plate to its original position. With downward pressure and using a sawing motion, advance the plate completely across and off the measure. As before, keep the plate level at all times. With the plate inclined, use an edge to produce a smooth finished surface. Now completely clean the exterior of the measure. Then determine the mass of the filled measure and record this value. Using the formulas found in the standard, Compute the density, compute the yield, compute the cement content, and compute the gravimetric air content of the concrete. Report the volume of the measure to the nearest thousandths of a cubic foot. Report the density to the nearest tenth of a pound per cubic foot. Report the yield to the nearest tenth of a cubic yard. Report the cement content to the nearest pound. And report the air content to the nearest tenth of a percent. Refer to the data sheet related to this training module for a copy of the data collected during this demonstration and any associated computations. Also, refer to the slide presentation related to this training module for a set of example computations and a practice problem. Don't forget to clean your equipment.